The word of God in Psalms 1, 1, 8, verse 11 to 13 says, They compassed me about, yea, they compassed me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them, my God. He says, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. He says, they compassed me about like bees, but they are quenched as the fire of thorns. He says, for in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. He repeated it again in Psalms 1, 1, 8, verse 12. He said, for in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Then he says, thou hast trust saw at me that I might fall. He says, but the Lord helped me. Dear child of God, today you will see the help of God. As you call on the name of the Lord, as you say, God, I believe in you. I believe in the power of your name. You see, God's word says, at the mention of the name of the Lord, at the mention of the name of Jesus, it says every knee must bow. It says every of those tongues will confess that Jesus is Lord. Today, they will begin to confess. Those who are looking for you to destroy you, yes, they are round about you to see that you are destroyed. They are round about you to see that you are ruined. They are round about you to see that you are brought down. But as you mention the name of the Lord, dear child of God, the Lord God of heaven, who is the mighty man in battle, who is the one that is there to deliver you, who is the one that is there and said he is your defense, he will show up. It will show up speedily and it would make sure every one of them that wanted you destroyed would be the ones that would be destroyed. He said they compassed me. He says they came about me to destroy me, to eat up my flesh. And then I called on the name of the Lord and then he delivered me. Dear child of God, in the face of that opposition, call the name of the Lord. And you will see the mighty wonders that God will wrought. You will see the mighty wonders that God will make happen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They wanted you to fall, but God will make sure you will not fall. You'll be the one rising tall. You will be the one standing tall at the end of the day in the mighty name of Jesus. They want to see that you are sad, dear child of God. But I want to assure you today, you will have the last laugh. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says they compassed me about like bees. But they are quenched as the fire of thorns. Dear child of God, today the fire of God will come down. And consume everything that they have been using to bring you down. Yes, they are the erected altars, dear child of God. But as you call on the name of the Lord, I want to assure you today. The fire of God will come down from above and it will make sure nothing they are doing against you would ever succeed. Instead, they would all be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, they built those altars and then Elijah called on God. He called on the name of the Lord and fire came down from heaven and consumed all of those altars. Dear child of God, those altars that the enemies had erected, their child of God, those altars that the enemies had erected, saying that through this altar, you will be destroyed. Today, as you call on the name of the Lord, their paths shall be destroyed. Those altars shall be consumed by the fire of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. The fire of tongues from above will fall upon those things that they had put in place to see that you will be trapped and destroyed in and you shall receive your deliverance. You shall know that God is with you, God is for you and God is by you. Through the name of the Lord that you would mention, dear child of God, you will have your salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. Just call on Jesus today and say, God, the mighty man in battle, Please come through. Come fight for me. I want to assure you, it would respond. It would respond speedily 
It would show up and change everything. It would show up and turn everything around. They wanted you destroyed. Those nations, he said, they compassed about me. But in the name of the Lord, will I destroy them. Put your confidence in God. Not in princes, dear child of God. Put your confidence in the name of the Lord. For I want to assure you as you believe on the name of the Lord, saying to yourself, I know that God is by my side. And when I call on him, he will show up. He will respond. And he will make sure I have the victories. I want to assure you, without a doubt, you will have the victories because he is your strength. You see, when the psalmist called on the name of the Lord, when they compassed about him to destroy him, To destroy him, he called on God and God responded. And then he will say in verse 14 of Psalms 118, he said, The Lord is my strength and my song and he's become my salvation. This is the voice of rejoicing in verse 15 and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. He said, The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly, my God. He said, The right hand of the Lord do it valiantly dear child of God you will see the right hand of the Lord fighting for you you will see the right hand of the Lord upholding you today you will see the right hand of God defending you today and you will sing your song of deliverance you will say indeed God delivered us you will say indeed God delivered my family you will say indeed God delivered me from the onslaught of the enemies Dear child of God, they are setting traps to see that you are brought down. They are setting traps to see that you are lowered down under the feet. To see that you are lowered down in the pit, dear child of God. They are setting traps to see that you go six feet below. But I want to assure you today they will not succeed. They will not succeed against your life. They will not succeed against your family. They will not succeed in any of your endeavors and enterprise. Yes, the things that you have owned, the things that you have built, they want to see that it is destroyed. But today, as you call on the name of the Lord, yes, the powerful name of God, as you call on Jesus, He will show up and He would make sure, He would make sure everything you want to see victory in, you shall see. You are more than a conqueror, dear child of God. You are an overcomer through Jesus because he loves you. Because he said he would be with you. Because he said he would uphold you with his right hand. That right hand of righteousness that do it valiantly. Because that right hand is by your side, dear child of God. Nothing they are trying to do against your life would ever succeed. So be at peace with yourself. Because they will not be able to get to your finances. Dear child of God, they want to see that you go broke. They want to see that you lack everything and then destroy yourself. They want to frustrate you. Dear child of God, they want to see that your efforts are frustrated. They want to see that those things you are pursuing you will not achieve. But today I want to assure you they have failed. Because God is by your side. To quench everything that they are trying to do. God is by your side. To see that their fiery darts will not come anywhere around your life. Will not come anywhere around your family. Will not come close to your dwelling place. Because he had promised to be there for you. He had promised to be there with you. He had promised to uphold you. And to see that you are safe. So trust in him today. And say, God, I know that you are there with me. I know that you are there to fight for me. I know that you are my salvation. I know that you are the voice of my rejoicing. I know that every day you are there to protect me. You are there to preserve me. And I know that I will testify. I want to assure you today. You will testify in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, the right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord do it valiantly. Psalms 118 verse 16. Then it said in verse 17, I shall not die. Dear child of God, you shall not die. 
in the name of Jesus. He says, but you will live and declare the works of the Lord. You shall not die. You will live. You will declare the works of the Lord because the Lord is protecting you, because the Lord is preserving you. And he's saying that you shall not be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. You are an overcomer and you shall testify of how the Lord delivered you. You shall testify of how the Lord brought you victories in Jesus' mighty name. Please stand strong. Don't give up right now. Please stand your ground and say, I will stand on the name of the Lord. For I know I shall overcome. For I know I shall have my victory. And I want to assure you, without fail, you shall have your victory. You shall overcome in Jesus' mighty name. God is by your side. He's there to help you. He's there to sustain you. And he will see you through in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.